Hello there. I'm Father John Ganey of the Paulist Fathers. I was sitting at a bar in a pub in Dublin with my attractive cousin Sheila. There was a younger man sitting at the bar with us and he began, So, are you two an item? That's an Irishism for are you dating? My cousin and I laughed. She said, He's a padre. And the young man replied, Oh yeah, sure. But after a while we convinced him that we were indeed just cousins. I thought about that young man, now middle-aged, I'm sure, because as we chatted, I asked him what he was doing, and he told me that he was heading for the USA. He was a carpenter. Work was slim in Dublin, and he knew there would be work, or more work, in the United States. That young carpenter was going to the USA on a tourist visa, and as he put it, when it ran out, I'll take my chances. Did he stay in the USA as he intended? Did he perhaps meet an American girl? Did they marry and have children? Are they a family now? Citizen children, citizen wife, with an undocumented immigrant as the family's dad. When the Supreme Court made a nine-word decision recently not to review a case about immigration and protecting millions of immigrants from deportation, I suspect many of us thought about immigrants from south of the border. But there are immigrants from all over the world who come to the United States, who get social security cards, work hard, pay taxes, and live in fear of deportation because they are undocumented. The chairman of the United States Bishops Conference, a Bishop Elizondo, spoke up about migration and responded to the Supreme Court decision. The decision is a huge disappointment, he said. It means millions of families will continue to live in fear of deportation and without the immediate ability to improve their lives through education and good jobs. The Senate and House seem incapable right now of getting meaningful legislative work done that will assist all of us live hope-filled and better lives. We need a number of men and women who could become profiles in courage for our day to step forward and bring about a civil, thoughtful, and effective immigration reform. As Bishop Elizondo said of immigrations to the United States and of the people who are the immigrants coming to our country, we cannot lose sight of their humanity without losing our own. For the Catholic Information Center in Grand Rapids, Michigan, I'm Father John Ganey. Thanks for being there.